Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Unidentified Origins. Right here, you're sitting with Kemar Shai, Guy Linda with him for the Shavala, and next to me is Kid Flame. What's up, Broski? Ah, clean, man. Clean, man. man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Um, we were with you to be there, sir. You know, yes, sir. we got um, the privilege to actually get to know you. And I actually like your style, bro. Now we're trying to introduce you to the world. Yeah, this is are, yeah. one of the guys, like, I don't want to cap, like, first time meeting this nigga, like, <laughs> literally, I thought, yeah. legit, he's already famous, you know. <laughs> he had the energy yeah, and the yeah, vibe. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's rare to find, like, people who, who like, you know, give you yeah, that sort of yeah. energy. Sure. Everybody can tell you they're artists, and you ask them about yeah, like, they're artists. You find them even on social media. Exactly, you know. They be ghosts. And apart from yeah. that, like, they're fearful of telling people who they are or being proud Facts. of their art. You're proud of your art. Yeah. And you tell us, like, Facts. what what gives you that, that, that motivation, energy. that drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like, just knowing myself and so on, mm -hmm. like, knowing where I come from, knowing where I'm going and mm -hmm. knowing where I am, For just real. really makes me step up my game mm -hmm. and, like, be hype in the moment. For sure. Living sure. in the moment too. Now, so, yeah. Yeah. so you're telling us that, like, you, knowing where you come from, mm -hmm. where you are, and where you're going, going. That's what gives you that, that boost, motivation, that, that drive. Yes, so, hmm. for like, maybe like a minute or two, yeah. just kind of give the people like, your background, you know? My background, like where I'm from, right? Where, where from? I come from. Mm -hmm. I come from the west side of West Bank. Of so I, course. Yes, sir. And I always rep my city, always rep my state. Mm -hmm. Started off rapping in grade six, you know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure. So ever since then, I've been just elevating, mm -hmm. started taking it serious in grade 10. Mm -hmm. And then from there on, I just hype more shows, more clout, more mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just enjoying it, you know no, what I mean? Sure, living sure, it. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So now, um, <clears throat> you know, there's like obviously steps to this thing. So yeah. in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Personally, I want to ask you that. Do you believe that like it's only hard work or hard work can connect? I feel like hard work connect and money. Oof. Yeah, I'm sorry, dog. Cause Wabu. like yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not the guap, dog. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, dog. You're gonna get kicked out outside. The style as well. Yeah. Dog, Yo, you know? drip, drip galo. The style as well. Yeah. Mm. Cause obviously, drip um, galo. you, you, you part of the industry of music, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, music business. Yeah, yeah, Hip hop. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm versatile when it comes to my craft, you mm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As long as it's an instrumental, I can sure, jump on it sure. and I can make sure that I do my thing on it. So, mm -hmm. do you think you'll, you'll ever go Chris Brown anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you did yeah, say you fuck with R&B, right? Yes, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Like, nice. I have something coming up for the ladies, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So, so bro, um, on that whole R and B tip, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's something interesting that I that I, I actually discovered or walked on to, like not the last, like right. Ghost Riders in R and B and hip hop. Like, I want you to tell me. That, like, yeah. So I heard that okay, it's a thing that R and B writers is okay for them to have like Ghost Riders, Ghost Riders, and hip hop yeah. that's strictly like eliminated. You can't it's, do that. You see, it's restricted. It's, it's <laughs> off the boat. Like you can't do that. So. Personally, on your standpoint, yeah, you know, okay, I mean, okay. it's been going around that yeah, like people like yeah. the champagne puppies have like personal oh, vibes. Oh. We ain't sure about it. I ain't trying to say, <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel, but personally, I feel. would you fuck with that? Uh, depending on my energy and what I want to write, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because there's specific times in your career whereby you feel like you lack motivation, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. if you have that person to give you an initiative to be like, you know what, if you mm -hmm. can do something like this, yeah. it will sound in this manner. Mm -hmm. And someone that has more experience than you. So sure. I'm always having this window of opportunity and this window of knowledge to yeah, know yeah. more. Not being cocky and being like, mm -hmm. I know everything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if I can get help from, let's say, uh, Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's say Dr. J, you know what I mean? Great. If I can get help from Yaksta CPT, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's that window that I'm always keeping open to sure. make sure that I get help, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I maintain the real me and my my orchestra. Okay, yeah, you actually, you actually they like you got to me there because mm -hmm. I was about to put you in the spot. I'm like, so now because hip hop is mostly about where you come from, you know? Yes, sir. It's all about yeah, who you are. Who you are. Like, yes, sir. You know, what city you rap? Yeah. What uh, you been through? Uh, Which nigga were you brought in? So now, if somebody's gonna write shit for you, like, yeah, you that's know, the thing. that's the thing. So, like, you have to hip hop. Original. You know, if the yeah. story ain't like, yeah. that real, nah. cap. It's cat, you know, you know? and they sideline you being exactly. talking about you like you're a snitch or something. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of so you. that's where I wanted to actually like get your perspective. If like, mm. would you when I said would you let somebody write for you? You know, it's like Not totally. you, your story is like your yeah. story. Yeah. So it's you, it's you. Mm -hmm. But me. I get you, I get you, right? So um, obviously like 
structure and, and, and doing your research and, you know, um, making sure that everything is on point is an important key in terms of like key aspects like yeah. in music, right? So would you kindly take us like through the process of you when you about to take on a project, like what what do you normally do, you know? Okay. To make sure that you achieve like the best results that you can possibly achieve. Okay. So I can only speak from like two weeks from now or like two weeks back, you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. the, the old projects I have dropped already, I have done that already, mm -hmm. so it's not a purpose or it's sure. not purposeful mm -hmm. talking about them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, what I do on a daily basis is just tap into my higher self, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel my energy before I do anything. Sure. I ask myself, do I really want to do it, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And if I can't find that leverage to do it the right way or to not do it at all, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So if I know for a fact that I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it right, sure. I just jump on it. I think of the beat. Mm -hmm. I think of the instrumental. Who made the instrumental too? Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to have a relationship with them. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I just go to the studio and make sure I have a nice experience. No, oh, no, big, big, big. Mm. Now that sounds solid. That really sounds perfectly yeah. solid. So now, right, um, platforms, right? Yeah. Um, which platforms would you recommend in terms of like, if someone else out there is trying to do what you gotta do, like what SoundCloud. platforms do you think they should get into? You know, that really work, you know? SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. First and foremost, it's SoundCloud dog. So you don't fuck with that TikTok shit? Uh I haven't been on TikTok. My yeah. my whole oh okay. Let me be real with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me be real with mm -hmm. you. Uh I started TikTok in twenty nineteen. Oh. When everyone was like not on that TikTok tip, you know sure, what sure. I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I did a couple of dance videos, I got mm -hmm. a couple of views and I was like, you know what? Let me just stop this and focus on my music because right. I had a thirteen song album that that was gonna drop that year mm -hmm. in August on the tenth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure, so sure, sure. When, when that actually came to mind, I was like, you know what, let me pause mm -hmm. this TikTok tip and then focus on my music. Sure. After that, I just kept on focusing on the music, focusing on the music. So I feel like SoundCloud is a great platform. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. If you can interact with your people, mm -hmm. that's the bet. For sure, for sure. Now, yeah. So most of the time, like, we interview cats and you'll hear them talking about, yeah, you can get my music, so and so and so and so. Yeah. I, I specifically heard you, if I'm not mistaken, I lying or anything. <laughs> you said you got a website, and if people really fuck with you, they'll check out really your website. Yeah. 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 And yeah. most people don't even know how to how start. To, like, like what do you even do website. when you, you know, uh, like, I've been learning websites? I've been learning a lot. Dog. Sure do I, I know, yeah, I yeah. know for sure that dog, like every second, dog, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. Google sends like forty thousand searches every yeah. second. Dog. Mm -hmm, you know, so, mm -hmm. so that's kind of intellectual. And if I can bring traffic to my website, mm -hmm. imagine every click is like approximately one penny. You know, what I mean, in USDs. Sure. So if I can get like I don't know hundred clicks a day, then I'm rich in a month. You hey. know what I mean? So with that website tip, I was thinking of monetization mm -hmm. to make money off of this because me, uh, music. It's not just a hobby, you know what I mean? For sure. Music it's is a money making music. strategy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So most people don't know that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So the way I attack this whole music thing, sure. I do it in a very business formality. Exactly. Man. Now that's that's another thing, like mm. making the separation, right? Like um when it comes to that, mm -hmm. what would you put out there to make sure that people separate it. How did you separate it? Like, of course, making the music is one thing, right? Yes. It is one thing. You make the music, you enjoy that, right? Yes. But if you're gonna make it, of course, there's certain things that you have to do. Like, you yes. gotta put yourself out there, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. Like, your structure in terms of that, like, how do you, how do you, how do you prep for it? And, mm -hmm. and like, how do you execute it in a way that it is actually effective? Okay. How do you do that? Okay, so first things first, I need to thank my supporters, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because I can't do everything by myself. Sure. There are a whole lot of people that help mm -hmm. me out because mm -hmm. I have a stylist, you know what I mean? This oh. trip check, yeah, yeah, gotta yeah. make sure that I ask someone like, yo, what do you think about this mm -hmm. fit? You know what I mean? I have a manager, you know? Oh, okay. So everything when it comes to bookings, features, so he deals with that. I have a team, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people think they can do it alone, mm -hmm. right? It's impossible. And so you can try. They say that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, I'm going with a team. Wherever mm -hmm. I'm going, I got my goons. You, know? you got your goons. I gotta make you. sure that my people are straight. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to be straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like the energy you give out, the energy you get back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I always prep myself, prepare for every occasion, and yeah. just keep my mind clean. Sure. Mm -hmm. So this I heard of a saying, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it says that 
keep your friends for friendships <coughs> mm-hmm. and and work with the competent so do you put your friends on like when it when it comes to the game no matter if they rap or not like yeah so do you believe in putting so, your, your niggas on so really you know why because mm-hmm. i believe in this concept of we'll see one day darling. So yeah. i will wake up and i will not have the same platform that i have mm. so mm. i want to put on as many people so that they have this platform so that sure. when i go mm. or when i disappear mm-hmm. or when i decide to stop doing this mm-hmm. there are people that are put on like ricky True. You know what I mean? Mm. Check out the people that he put out. He the, did put on you know, lot, the co signs and everything yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So I just wanna trailblaze. Sure. Yeah, trailblaze and make sure that everyone is safe, dog. Mm-hmm. Season mm-hmm. with the Uber Richuli wanna their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see what I mean? Uh-huh. So you always gotta make sure that people that you chow with, they sure. also chow with dog. Everyone is eating, everyone mm-hmm. got bread. Now it's on the real tip, man. Mm. How to make sure that everybody stays in line or, or does what they're supposed to because it's one thing putting your friends on, yeah, right? Yeah, it's another yeah, when man. they don't show you the same energy. It's another thing when they delaying your process or delaying your progress. You That's know? the thing. So how do you go about like making sure that your niggas know exactly that this is you, this is what you gotta do, and if they with it, they gotta fall in line and do what they, they have, have to. It, if they, they don't with it, yeah, like like that's the thing. How do you do it without like actually? Like making yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, first things first, dog. Person. Know very well that if mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a friendship with you, mm-hmm. there's gonna be the person that you know as a friend. There's mm-hmm. gonna be the person that you know as a business partner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nothing fucks with my money. I gotta say that, like looking at the camera straight forward. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> fucks with my money, bro. Yeah, if yeah, I yeah. see someone is is becoming a dead weight, mm-hmm. I tell them, bro, like you need to pull up your socks. Mm-hmm. If you don't, nigga, you're out the door. It's yeah. not like I'm being mean or anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you gotta get your shit together because mm-hmm. we're blowing up right now. And if you're not yeah. willing to put in the work, you're mm-hmm. not gonna blow up with us just to be like, you know, uh, what's mm-hmm. that, a heavyweight or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I tag along. Nah, mm-hmm. we don't do tag alongs. Everyone knows which position they play. Everyone mm-hmm. should play yeah, their yeah, position. Mm-hmm. Clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now without without taking it any further, man, like sir, um, I like you to like hit up a freestyle right now. Yo, a few bars, like if you can, you know. Yo, okay, uh, a few bars. Mm. Alright, cool. So like, no beat me on, uh, no beat box me on, it's just a cappella. Hey, yeah, yo, <laughs> last time I actually hit up a beat box. Alright, let's do it a cappella. Yeah, that's that's all that birth lights, cameras, action. Mm-hmm. If you look into my Instagram, don't forget to read the caption. Mm. I've been learning about the bigger picture because what you see is a fraction. Mm. Every week I got a better hunch to see my ex reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need to tell me what it is because mm. I know exactly what it isn't. Mm. You're acting like a bunch of kids if you don't know my physics. Mm. Mentally at a place where I don't know where I'm finished. Mm. Spiritually at a place where I'm mm. just Minding my own business. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, the cat dropped it, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to easy, I mean come on. Right here, right now. You see the boys ready. Yeah, yeah, All the time. You ain't even it's got them. It does. Fuck you ain't that's forcing it. You know, that's what I that's what I always say, you know, it's like a new thing that I picked up, like yo, yeah. bro, we need people like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. We need yeah, someone yeah. you can right. put on the spot right. and they're gonna grind right there and there, yo, you know. But it's a lot of guts. Yo, it takes a lot of guts. Exactly. Yeah. So you saying that it takes a lot of guts, like mm-hmm. On other cats, you know, because y'all cats gotta keep yourselves in check. I mean, that's the yeah. reason why yeah. you'll put so and so on the track, right? Yeah. Just to make sure that you're yes, proper. Sure, sure. So, right now, for all the cats that are currently saying they rap right now, but mm-hmm. when you're gonna see him in the street and you're asking nigga, like, hey, yo, bro, like, freestyle for me. Freestyle for oh, me. Oh, oh. And then they start, like, you know, losing their uh, shit. Like, what you, what you wanna say to them? Okay, first things first, man. Mm-hmm. Never belittle anyone. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like, bro. First things first, don't act cocky. Mm-hmm. You know, if you know that you're not prepared, mm-hmm. be humble, sit your little ass down, and and, and learn, dog. You know what I'm saying? And learn. Like me and I thought, I had to like, dog. I, mm-hmm. I don't even want to go there. Yeah. But yeah, I had to like teach myself. Which you, you know what? I gotta be humble. Mm-hmm. And if I'm put on the spot, I gotta show up. It's either you show up, you show up, or you go home. Oh, so then uh, going home is not an option. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. So yeah, that's the thing, bro. Nah, bro. Oh, always, I feel you. always. I feel you, bro. Always. You heard the boy coming in with a whole lot of flamey energy. This boy is an inferno right now. Yo. And he's definitely going to the top. I'm telling you. Like, catch him a few years. We'll be talking on a whole different level. And the boy will be on a whole different platform. I'm telling you guys. So, that was it from us. Catch us on another episode, another segment. This is Unidentified Origins. And you chilling out here with Camera Shy Guy. We're in the world for Shabalala with me. It's Kid Flames. See you on the next episode. Thank you, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. That was Kid.